Legends fans and collectors, we've got another one of the new Disney Plus wave. It is She-Hulk. Um, I did just review Moon Knight just the other day. Um, oh, it was yesterday at the time of recording this, but um, yeah, at this point it'll be the most recent one before this one. <laughs> so if that makes sense, it's it's been a long day and I'm rambling, but that's okay. Um, yes, this seems to be the two that are most highly sought after Moon Knight. And uh, She-Hulk, I think Mr. Knight will be the more difficult one to track down. Um, but I will find it. But uh, yeah, like, like I've said on the uh, Moon Knight wave, I'm really, really happy about this one. Um, as for the show, it's been alright. Um, it's been 100% been my cup of tea, but I'm taking it for what it is. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I think she's an interesting character. I think the style of the show is interesting. I haven't read any comics, um, but I know it's, you know, it's very sort of got a bit of slapsticky humour to it as well. So I'll, I'll, I'm still going to sit through and watch it because, um, yeah, it's it's part of part of the world, part of a world I love. So I'm, I'm excited to check out the rest and see where she fits in for the future of the MCU. So without further ado, let's open up She-Hulk and have a look. All right, here is She-Hulk, and not only is, you know, this head sculpt probably one of the most real remarkable head sculpts and face paint that Hasbro's done on a figure for a long time, um, I'm, yeah, really, really impressed with this one. So we'll quickly get a look at the accessories. It does come with Infinity Ultron's, uh, one of his legs, I can't remember which one, but that's okay. We'll make sure that's put aside safely. And she does come with a pair of fist hands, so you can swap out and uh, make her beat up people. Um, but yeah, this this head sculpt, man, it's just absolutely stunning. They've just nailed that. Absolutely nailed it. I really love the black hair with the with its, you know, black and green hair, green sort of highlights on the hair and a sort of a black sort of underlayer, which is nice. That's really well done. But yeah, really, really blown away by the uh, the face sculpt there and the paintwork that's been done on it. It's just straight off the screen. It is amazing, really, really nicely done. So yeah, she does have this sort of jumpsuit looking thing on, which I don't think we've seen her wear at this point. Um, I'm a, literally about to sit down and watch episode 5, I think. So yeah, we haven't seen her in this yet. I like her runners. She's got her, got her running shoes. Just a, just a really cool fi figure. I'm, I can't wait to change the hands over for the fists. Uh, they just look a little bit awkward when they're sort of just sort of standing there like that. But it's all good. Yeah, we called a cool to pose this one up. So I'm just going to sit and have a... Have a bit of a play around with this figure while I'm while I'm watching the show, watching the episode. But yeah, really, really nice. Looks like she's got all the good articulation, pinless tech in the in the uh, knees and elbows, which is pretty much standard. You know, very, very nice female form, <laughs> which is something I appreciate greatly. And yeah, they've 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 done a good job without. Uh, Without too much trouble, I don't think. You know, it's you know, there's a lot of green, which is you know, it's fine. It's uh, you know, was well, probably wasn't a difficult one to do, but I don't know. I love the jumpsuit. I love all the sort of lines, the patterns, and the outfit, the spandex. I guess um, all around looks good. I'm really, really happy with this. I'm uh, I am sort of predominantly uh, collecting the sort of animated stuff at the moment, the more sort of comic Marvel Legends figures. Um, and I would like to get a She-Hulk, but, you know, being I am sort of still partial to the MCU stuff, this one, <laughs> no-brainer. This is fantastic. So, yeah, I'll be back with more in the coming, coming weeks of this wave, the Disney Plus wave. I'll slowly chip away at the wave, hopefully can track down Mr. Knight. That will be a cool one. And uh, yeah, eventually get the wave and finish up Infinity Ultron. So I'm looking forward to being able to do that because that's a really cool looking figure. I could just seeing the, just seeing this leg 
Um, there was worried it was going to be a lot of plasticky looking stuff, but it actually looks pretty nice. So I'm looking forward to it. All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, yeah, stay tuned because I'll be back with some more very, very soon. So that, till then, take care.